Cradle to Cradle. It's one of the most inspiring reframes and paradigm shifts that I've ever seen. It's an idea put forward by the chemist Michael Browngard and the architect Bill McDonough. And they're reframing our current production paradigm, which is cradle to grave, to cradle to cradle. And so the idea from cradle to grave is that we dig a hole in the ground, we get stuff out, iron ore or other natural resources, we use them once or twice, and then we dig another hole in the ground, and then we put the stuff back in, from the cradle of the materials to the grave of the materials. That's a linear system. It goes one way and one way only. But that's not how nature does it. In nature, all waste is food for another process. So waste equals food. So instead of exhausting natural resources, we're actually restoring natural resources. Instead of having waste, we have waste which becomes food for a second process. Now, what Braungart and McDonough suggested is that in order to do that, in order to change our production paradigm, we must isolate the biosphere from the technosphere. Certain things are natural and you can just throw them away and they become compost in nature. And other things are artificial and they have materials that we need to recycle in an, but for technological things. For example, what a camera is made of. And the problem is that most objects are composite, they're hybrids. Even the shirt that I'm wearing, it's made of cotton, so that's a natural but it's not a natural ingredient, but it's not compostable because it has dye, it has dark blue dye, the color of this shirt. And the dye should be taken out of the shirt before you compost it. So the design shift in paradigm is to make things where the biosphere and the technosphere can be easily separated, where you could throw some of it back into nature and some of it you would completely reuse, like the elements of your smartphone. The other paradigm shift that is part of that is that a lot of the recycling that we do today is a form of downcycling. We have pet bottles, but they get turned into park benches and then into some kind of bollard for roads. What if you take pet bottles and made them into new pet bottles? What instead of downcycling, you thought of making an upcycle? And the second book of Brown Garden McDonough is called The Upcycle. And it's all about this idea that normally the the new thing is the best and then the second time you use something the quality goes down and the third time the quality goes down. But imagine the upcycle where the second time you use something the quality gets better and the third time you use something the quality gets better. The objects that you make get purified, the objects that you made get improved, get better all the time. So imagine this amazing reframe and this amazing shift, our whole production system all the objects that we make in our industrialized world. Imagine making them in a cradle-to-cradle -cradle way. Imagine making them in a circular way so that you don't get more waste, that all these cycles, all these loops are closed and everything comes back and everything is reused. And then it doesn't matter how much stuff you make because you don't get more trash. It doesn't matter and every time you make them they get better. Now that is a very, very different paradigm from the paradigm that we're in now. What would it take for us as a society, for you as an organization, what would it take for us as individuals to champion this shift from cradle to grave to cradle to cradle?